In a significant move toward modernizing its aviation fleet, the Malaysian Armed Forces are set to acquire the Leonardo AW-149 helicopter to replace the aging Sikorsky S-61A-4 Nuri, which has long served the Royal Malaysian Air Force, TUDM. The ambitious renewal project, as announced by General Tan Sri Muhammad Abraman, Chief of the Malaysian Armed Forces, involves procuring 24 AW-149 helicopters in two phases. This plan aligns with the country's growing need for a more advanced, versatile fleet to meet the demands of modern military operations. The Sikorsky S-61A-4 Nuri has been a steadfast workhorse for Malaysia's military aviation since the 1960s, often used for troop transport and logistical missions. Despite its robust design, the Nuri's capabilities have become outdated over time. With a range of 450 kilometers and a top speed of 204 kilometers per hour, its moderate load capacity and older engine technology limit its effectiveness in today's increasingly complex and technologically driven combat environments. Moreover, its lack of modern protection and target tracking systems further diminishes its relevance for battlefield missions. To address these limitations, the Malaysian Armed Forces have turned to the Leonardo AW-149, a state-of-the-art medium multi-role military helicopter. The AW-149's advanced design makes it ideal for a wide range of demanding missions, including troop transport, medical evacuation, search and rescue, SAR, personnel recovery and special forces operations. With its spacious and modular cabin, the helicopter can transport up to 16 fully equipped soldiers, or 19 with lighter gear, offering much-needed flexibility for diverse missions. The AW-149 is not only versatile but also highly advanced in terms of avionics and weapon systems. It integrates cutting-edge technology to ensure optimal performance during day or night missions, even in adverse weather conditions. The helicopter's open architecture system is mission-specific, allowing for easy customization based on the needs of the customer, which enhances both operational efficiency and survivability in combat scenarios. One of the aw 149 standout features is its impressive suite of defensive capabilities, designed to ensure the safety of both crew and aircraft in hostile environments. The rotor blades are resistant to ballistic impacts, while the helicopter's reinforced structure is built to endure the stresses of battle. Additional safety measures include a crashworthy fuselage, landing gear and seats, alongside self-sealing fuel tanks and an integrated defense system. Optional armor protection adds further resilience in combat situations. Powered by engines from either General Electric or Safran, the AW-149 is capable of reaching speeds of up to 294 km per hour and boasts a maximum range of 1,009 km. Even in the event of a transmission failure, the helicopter can operate for up to 50 minutes, ensuring mission continuity and safety during critical operations. The acquisition of the AW-149 helicopters is structured into two phases. The first phase will see the delivery of 12 helicopters, specifically for combat search and rescue CSAR, missions. These units will also have versatile utility capabilities, enabling them to perform a variety of other roles. The second phase will involve the procurement of an additional 12 helicopters, fast-tracked under government direction to synchronize with broader military acquisition programs across various ministries and public agencies. In a groundbreaking move for the Malaysian defense sector, the new AW-149 helicopters will be acquired through an asset leasing system. This innovative approach allows the military to modernize its fleet while maintaining budgetary flexibility. The leasing project is overseen by the Public-Private Partnership Unit within the Prime Minister's Department, along with the National Security Council. During a public-private committee meeting, the Leonardo AW-149 was chosen for its advanced capabilities, particularly in the CSAR and utility roles. General Mohamed Abraman highlighted that the decision to go with the AW-149 was based on a comprehensive cost management analysis conducted with the ministry and other relevant government agencies. This thorough assessment ensured that the helicopter met both the operational and budgetary requirements of the Malaysian Armed Forces. Currently, the key terms of the concession agreement for the helicopter leasing acquisition are under review. These terms will be submitted for approval at an upcoming cabinet meeting. This acquisition strategy reflects Malaysia's commitment to rapidly modernizing its defense capabilities while adhering to the government's directives for a more flexible and cost-effective military procurement process. The Malaysian Armed Forces' decision to adopt the Leonardo AW-149 helicopter marks a critical leap toward modernization. As the Sikorsky S-61A-4 Nuri retires after decades of service, 
the AW149 will usher in a new era of operational capability for Malaysia's military aviation. With its state-of-the-art features, versatility, and advanced defense systems, the AW149 is set to play a crucial role in enhancing the country's defense readiness, ensuring that Malaysia is well-equipped to meet the challenges of modern warfare and complex battlefield environments.